If you could change any choices you have ever made, would you? You can always make another choice and change the course of your success. Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of Inspired Choices Radio Show, holographist coach, Christine McIver. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, my friends? Thank you so much for joining me today here on the Inspired Choices Radio Show. I am very, very happy and grateful that you are here. Whether you are listening live on any one of our 50-plus live streaming platforms or you're here at the Inspired Choices Network or you're listening in the future on one of our 50-plus podcast locations, I am incredibly grateful. And as always, I would love to hear from you. Um, You have no idea how it inspires each and every one of our hosts, including myself, when we hear from our listeners. It's something incredible uh, to know that you are listening and, and sharing with us. It, uh, it really does fuel us forward. So, so tonight is going to be a unique show. Tonight's show is Who Will I Be After the Lockdown? So you might be listening to this in real time or you might be listening to this after the lockdown. So both perspectives would be quite interesting uh, and I would love to hear about it from you. It's it's really fascinating um, everything that's going on in the world and everything that's going on with myself individually. I think that collectively people are having a lot of inner dialogue, a lot of personal time to examine and um, to observe of themselves. Now, some people are going to be conscious, consciously observing. Others are going to be unconsciously paying attention and then maybe griping a great deal about it. And it's it's definitely a time where you can make a choice. So, you know, if if any of this reads for you as we're talking, if you have more questions, you know, please come join us in the chat room at Inspire Choices Network. You can always call in the U.S is 815-880-8255. You can join us in Canada at 613-800-8736 or you can Skype us at Inspired Choices Network, whatever works for you. Or you can always contact me um, after the fact. You can email me, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca. So I love working with individuals and organizations Business is definitely one of my very, very favorite places to work with people, and I love working with individuals as well, Um, people that are really ready to make a choice that inspires not only them, but those around them. So do reach out if this is something that sparks for you at any time during our our show tonight or after the fact. But, you know, as, as I look at tonight's show, what I have written is, The lockdown is intense. It's also inviting, overwhelming, showing possibilities, asking for more, and demanding more. Who will I be after the lockdown? Is this a question that is going through your mind? Do you wonder about your business, your relationships, your body, your joy? Is there anywhere that you're looking in these areas and questioning what will be what it will all look like after the lockdown I know for sure this has been something up in my world and it's it's definitely a, I've seen it by other people are, are talking about it a little bit um, a lot of people right now what I have seen they're in quote unquote survival mode They are talking about how to survive the lockdown. And I'd like to bring my two cents in and bring a different perspective in and ask, who are you planning to be after the lockdown? And you know this, you know, you know, you know that where wherever you put your attention, that will expand and grow. That will expand and grow. 
So if you are someone that is in the space of complaining and griping and just being with all of the irritation and allowing that to drive your thoughts, drive your actions, drive the words that come out of your mouth, if that's where you're choosing to be, what are you creating for your future? You know, um, I'm not sure if I'll get this explained correctly, but my dear friend Rhonda had brought this to my attention a couple of times, and and I believe it was Abraham uh, Hicks who had explained it at some point. But it goes like this. Everything you are creating, all right, shows up in your future. And when it arrives in your future, it is actually the past. So what you think about, what you focus on today, will actually manifest itself in your future. And so when it shows up, and have you ever actually, oh great, thanks Rhonda, Rhonda said, yep, that's it. Have you ever actually had an experience and went, oh my God, look at this, and and realized, whether you've acknowledged it or not, when the creation shows up, it's because of what you did prior to that time and space. It is where you are allowing your energy to be, right? It, the present is actually already the past. Yeah, it is a little trippy. So, so when you are, when you are, wherever you are right now, okay, wherever your focus is right now, whatever you're thinking right now, whatever you are creating right now, what is showing up in your world right now with your body, with your relationships, with your joy, whatever that is, that is something that you created in the past. And it is showing up now. It's kind of like you plant a seed in the ground and in a few weeks, In a few months, it starts to sprout, and it didn't sprout that day. It didn't begin the creation that day. It began when you started, when you planted that seed. So what seeds have you planted that are showing up for you today? Where have you been putting your focus? Where have you been allowing your awareness to drive you and guide you? Where have you been willing to be present and actually allow it to show you, to guide you? Have you have you honestly been willing to be present, so present with your words, so so thoughtful of the words and the thoughts that are going through your mind that you create something absolutely magical for your future? I was talking to a friend today a very dear friend, and as we were having a conversation, there was something in her world she's been frustrated with. Okay, cool. And she continued to say, I am so tired. I am so tired of this. I'm so tired of this. And through a conversation of about 20, 30 minutes, she had said it four or five times. And thankfully, you know, my friends are pretty open. And I said, could I bring something to your attention? And you know, it it definitely had the energy of, I'd like to contribute to you. And yeah, she said yes. And I shared that with her. And she goes, ah, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. You know, sometimes when we get caught up in our world, we don't realize the words that are coming out of our mouth. And they are habitual. The words that we use, you know, I don't know how many words they say each person has in their vocabulary, but they're repetitive. Sayings are repetitive. We say the same things over and over and over again, and we continue to create the same, same, same in our world. So is it something that you are willing to look at? Is it something that you are willing to receive from from your own awareness, from your own presence, with your connection to your source, is that something you're willing to receive? So that in your future, 
you create even greater than you've ever had before. Rhonda has some great questions in in the chat room. She said, who do I want to be after the lockdown? Yes, who do you want to be? So who will I be is based on your wants, is based on your desires, and most definitely is based on your choices. You know, a lot of people are coming from the space of, I don't have any choices. I don't have any choice. I have to be in lockdown. I don't have any choice. That's not true. That is not true whatsoever. You can make a choice to go outside, to go in public, to go around people, to walk through stores, to 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 go among people and expose yourself to the possibility of actually being become infected with the virus and also to infect others around you. You have that choice. If you're making a conscious choice and you're being very aware of what you're doing when you need to go out and you're being very aware of the people around you and what they're choosing, that can have a very different outcome. You can also choose to sit in your house and be a grump and complain and worry and freak out for this whole time period. And when it's over, will you have a stress level? Will you need to go on heart medication? Will you need to go to, you know, get on antidepressants? Will will you need to be seeing a, a health professional for your body? Um, what will you need to do to kind of, quote unquote, fix? what you've created at this time. My friends, you always have the choice. And so for me, it's looking at sometimes the, the, when I look at my past and I look at the choices I've made, I will often say to myself, I wish I'd made a different choice. I wish I'd made a different choice. And some of the choices I made in the past, I can honestly say to you, I was not being as present. I was not being as aware with my choices, with the emotions that were running through my body and my mind. And I was allowing the emotions to really take me down a road that, you know, today I'm not happy that I, some of those choices that I've made. So my question to you is, if you could change any choices you have ever made, would you? And if the answer is yes, would you now be willing to become more present, more connected to your source, to your inner guidance, to your joy, to your awareness of your future than you have ever been before? So that making a choice will actually enrich your life. Instead of having you be in doubt, uncertainty, and regret for the future. You have the opportunity, my friends. You have the opportunity totally and completely to create your future after the lockdown of one that is more enriched than it has ever been before. If you are like me, you may be looking at and may be very keenly aware that this time and space, this creation of a lockdown has so many opportunities that have been laid at your feet that you get to absolutely thrive from than you have ever had the opportunity to do before. It all comes down to your perspective. Everything comes down to your perspective. It always has and it always will. But the truth is, the future is yours to create, whether you are in lockdown or you are not. Are you willing to be present with that? Whew. 
I just love the energy of what is asking to be said tonight. And it is nourishing me. And I certainly hope that it is nourishing all of you listeners. And whether we are in lockdown when you're listening to this, or if it's after the lockdown, know that you being choosing to be unconscious, choosing to just be at the effect of things around you, that is a lockdown of sorts. And at any moment in time, you can make another choice. You can choose to take yourself out of lockdown of your experiences of your life and create more joy and more pleasure than you have ever had before. But it does require a number of things. We are going to go for our first break of the show. When we get back, we're going to talk about what required and we're going to talk about some other things that will definitely stir (laughs) something inside of, of you, I'm sure. So you are listening to Inspired Choices with myself, Christine McIver, here on the Inspired Choices Network. Stay tuned, my friends. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on our past experiences or what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join Inspired Choices Radio Show with holographist coach Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back and brings all her expertise during each and every show. Are you ready to create the life and the living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email becomeahost at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with holographist coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255. Canada, 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Hey, welcome back, my friends. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Wow, I'm, I'm really enjoying this conversation. I hope you are as well, even though I'm having the conversation by myself. <laughs> and those of you in the chat room. So I want to ask you, my friends, what are you seeing going on in the world right now during the lockdown? What are you noticing with the people, you know, mainly online and physically around you? Some of the things that I'm noticing and, and I'm wondering about the future of of these individuals is some some of the things I'm seeing is a lot of play. Um, I do enjoy watching, um, I do enjoy going on TikTok. It's, it's an app that a lot of people think are just for young kids, you know, whatever, <laughs> the point of view. I get so much pleasure out of watching people laughing and dancing and singing to some of their favorite songs and playing. It's just so much fun to me. It, there's a lot of joy there. There's a, there is a lot of um, people are taking this opportunity to, you know, let go of the excuses of, oh, it's like, I don't have the time, right? You know, we know we always have the time if we choose it, you know, right? time is, it's a lie to say, I, did, I don't have time to do things. No, it's a priority you haven't made. 
And sometimes that stinks when somebody says that, but it's true. But I wonder about the people that are being very creative and doing things with their family and laughing with their family right now. I wonder if they will choose to continue that after the lockdown. Or will they rush back into their old behaviors and their old excuses and try to get, quote unquote, comfortable in those again? You know, I doubt that they will be able to be fully comfortable back in those old ways if they are enjoying some of the new behaviors today. Because it's it's kind of like um, trying to put the genie back in the bottle. It just doesn't work. You can't unknow this. Right? You can't forget the pleasure that you actually had. So that actually comes to mind. I am seeing a great deal of um, generosity of spirit and and kindness. I just saw a post uh, that read, Today you could be standing next to someone who is trying their best not to fall apart. So whatever you do today... Do it with kindness in your heart. That is so beautiful. I wonder sometimes, do we actually need to have something be, do we need to have a tragedy in our world? Do we need to have um, a global concern in our world before we will actually become kind and present with people in our in our lives, people that we encounter, do we really need to have something explode in order for us to acknowledge people around us may be hurting, people around us may need support? I wonder if it would be possible for each and every one of you that is listening today to just take 2% more of your time and contribute kindness to those around you. You know, when we first started on the lockdown, I I remember on one of the radio shows, I said that I was noticing as I walked by people, because we did need to have social distancing, as I was walking on the street by someone, I, I did notice that we were connecting, really connecting more with our eyes. It, it was, there was a moment where we just acknowledged, hey, I see you. Hey, I know we need to be six feet apart, but I see you. And it really it really has been touching me um, deeply when I, I'm connecting with people as I'm walking. And I'm like, I don't want to lose that. I don't want to need to be in a pandemic in order to have that type of connection. But that's something that I really desire to have and continue to have as we go forward. Rhonda says, It's sad that it's taken this pandemic to have people choose kindness, but I'm glad it's happening. And hey, what did the universe know that we weren't willing to be aware of? (laughs) Yes, and one hell of a wake-up call. It's true. We required a wake-up call. We required, like, hello, human, pay attention, hello. You know, have you ever been, you know, when you you were young and you were sitting in class and you were just dazing off into to, to nowhere and the teacher was like, Christine, hello. You know, I really feel like the universe has been doing that with all of us, right? It's like, are you paying attention? Are you being present? Like no more, you know, like people are talking about, you know, I'm going to gain all this weight and oh my God, and I'm drinking so much. It's like, okay, if you're having fun saying that, cool. If you're actually doing unawareness with shoving food down your throat or drinking to excess, if you're actually choosing to do that, okay, what are you going to create on the other side? Now, a lot of people will be joking around like that and doing that. I know saying those things because it's fun and they just they just want people laughter. But there are some people out there that are using it as an excuse to numb themselves to their own awareness. 
you know, if you're if you're someone ha- that is has got a lot of anger inside of you, if you're someone that has got a lot of fear in you, if you're someone that has not been willing to do your inner work and get connected to your source, your truth, and clean up yourself, you may be reaching for substances to numb yourself to the truth of what is trying to come through. And my invitation to you is, my friend, no one is made imperfect. I believe everyone is made perfect. And as we continue to connect with ourselves and learn more about ourselves, we dust off the pieces and parts of us that aren't true, that never worked. We we dust off the reality around us that we've cloned onto, that we have bought into that we have to be a certain way in order to have love, in order to have success, in order to have money. My friends, each and every one of you, right here, right now, you have something so precious to gift. You have something so precious to gift to yourself and something so precious to gift to those around you. Kindness is not something that you just do. Kindness is something that you be. And every single person born on this planet has the ability to be the energy of kindness. If you are allowing insanities, anger, points of view, judgment to drive you, It can take you out of the energy of the kindness you truly be. So what what do you desire? Who do you desire? Who does your future self, and thank you for that, Rhonda, who does your future self desire you to be? What is pulling you forth? What is it that you have always imagined yourself to be. Is that still something you desire? And if it's something that you desire, why do you desire that? What is it? Does it light you up? Does it make your heart feel like it's going to explode? Does it make you giggle? Does it turn your body on? Does it inspire you to reach forward to the world around you. And is that something that you are ready now to step into more than you ever have been before? My friends, this lockdown, the gift in this lockdown is the space and the no excuse time to get present with you. Would you be willing, if you only ever spent 20 minutes a day in solitude, in meditation, in self-awareness, would you be willing to double that? Would you be willing to turn that up to 40 minutes? Or maybe you'd want to get really crazy and turn it up to 60 minutes. What will that gift to you? You see, getting to know you, deeply getting to know you, really connecting with the truth of who you really are and who you came here to be, that is a gift, my friends, that will keep giving to you in the future every single solitary day. If you know that something brings you joy and you're willing to drop the excuses and choose it and choose it again and choose it again and choose it again, that that could make all of this time and space in lockdown be 100% worth it. 
if you would be willing right now to spend some time and have a real heart-to-heart communication with someone that you always seem to never have enough time or find more excuses to avoid, what will that actually contribute to them, to you, and to your relationship? If now you have the time to stretch your body, to have pleasure with your body, to nurture your body, to do all those things that you thought about and wished about, if you have the time now to create a new connection with your body, Imagine what the future with your body will be like. We're going to go for our second break. When we get back, we're going to talk more about what it is that you can be looking at today to create that future of the woman or the man that you desire to be after the lockdown. You're listening to Inspired Choices here on the Inspired Choices Network with myself, Christine McIver. And we'll be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on our past experiences or what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join Inspired Choices Radio Show with holographist coach Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back and brings all her expertise during each and every show. Are you ready to create the life and the living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you ready to have pleasure with your business? Yes, I said pleasure with your business. The pleasure of business a la carte will surprise you with topics like meet yourself in the boardroom, money, services, and you. Expand your visibility. The pleasure of communication. The pleasure of Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Christine McIver has so much pleasure with business and loves teaching all things business. Beginning a new business, Desiring to expand a current business or looking to resurrect a business that has been dormant? This program will get you fired up and bring more pleasure than you have ever imagined. Exhausted with your excuses for not creating a phenomenal business? Join now for all the pleasure with business. Pleasure of Business a la carte gives you total choice for what you desire and what your business requires. That's 24 weeks of different topics to choose from with weekly calls, audio and video recordings, and PDFs. This class will have you dive right in and use tools to create the business that has been speaking to you. Go to inspiredchoices.ca for full details or join the Facebook page, Pleasure of Business a la carte. Now is the time for you and your business. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with holographist coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining tonight. If you've just joined us, we're talking about who will I be after the lockdown? You know, one of the things that (laughs) has been running through my mind a lot is will there be a lot of um, germophobies, germophobic. I'm not going to get this straight. People that are obsessed with germs. Will there be a lot of those people walking around the earth? Will will they take it to germophobics? Thank you. 
<laughs> will will they be operating from that space and creating chaos and stress in their life again and again and again? Or will they choose to be even more conscious about their choices in how they clean and how how they um, where they go and and what they're choosing to be aware of with their bodies? Are they going to be connecting in with their bodies even more and paying attention to the signals that your the body is giving them? Because you know the body is continuously showing us so so much. The body is continuously communicating with you as well. And if you don't think your body communicates with you, like my friend Danielle Carter, who teaches Right Body for You, just, you know, deny the fact that your body lets you know when you need to go to the bathroom. (laughs) Your body is always, always communicating with you. And I know there's many of us out there, including myself, that are right now having a lot of interesting times with our bodies as our bodies especially today that today is Earth Day 2020 um, our bodies are contributing to what is going on in the world our bodies are helping to clear a great deal of the intensity um, of the chemicals of the the creation that we know today with all of the humans and all of the stress and all of the anxiety and all of the worry, I know that our bodies are contributing and are major, major contributors in changing what is happening in the world and and in our own world. And as you get more and more present with your body, you can actually ask, body, do I have something do we have something to be concerned about here? As opposed to, you know, wearing wearing gloves and a mask and, and not wanting to be around other people when the you know the professionals have told us everything is is good. We're fine now to interact with other people. Is that something that is going to be in your world? Is is that something that you are going to be? And and notice yourself right now. What's your level of anxiety when you are around other people today? Are you using your awareness or are you using fear tactics that are being you know, put out there in all sorts of things? Um, today I got an email from Netflix. And, you know, I watch Netflix like many of us do. <laughs> And and I went and looked at what it said, um, what it had sent through. And it said, coming April the 26th, coronavirus explained. And I'm telling you, the minute I looked at that picture, my body went, <clears throat> and what I know occurred is my body went, oh, God, everybody is going to go into panic again. Oi, 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 right? And and so how much are people out there? There are people that are contributing information and there are people that are creating things that are riding this this time to in order to make a lot of money. And there's nothing wrong with making a lot of money. Let's be really clear. Money desires to contribute to all of us. But where is it coming from? What space is your creation coming from? The creation of contributing or the creation of trying to make a buck off of the back of someone's fear? And, you know, if you've ever read the book um, Happy Money, you will know in that book, Ken Honda, I I really love that book, Ken Honda speaks about um, happy money and how when you are putting something out into the world and receiving, putting it out in a happy space and receiving money that people happily gift to you for that contribution, that then contributes back to more happiness and joy for you. So know that the energy that you put on something when you're putting it out, it's going to come back to you with that same type of energy with the money in your world. So what you are creating today, what you are putting out in the world today, 
you have the opportunity to create it in a way that it will give to you again and again in the future. The opportunity you have right now to look at, and this is such a great time when definitely we are home 95% of the time. Look at the areas of your life where you desire to have more ease. Look at the desires, look at the areas of your life where you desire to have more pleasure, more joy, more prosperity, more creativity. What could you choose today? Where could you choose to focus your energy that will actually create that for you in the future? Are you in a job right now that you are so happy that you are not there? You're like, oh my God, thank God for the coronavirus because I don't have to see those bitches I work with or that boss I can't stand or do that job I hate. If that is even partially in your reality, I'm telling you, wake up. The one commodity you don't get to create more of is time. Now is the time to look at what would bring you joy. What would be so much fun to do every day that time would go so quickly that you wouldn't even, like, it's Friday, really? Because I was looking forward to coming to work tomorrow. What is that that you would do every day of the week if there wasn't anything else to do? if you didn't have other pleasures you wanted to choose. You have the opportunity to get real and get down with yourself and create the person you've always desired to be. You know, this is this is a saying that I'm sure you've heard before that really merits saying right now is, who will you be at the end of your life? What will you have contributed to the world, to your own life, to the people around you that you can look back on at the end of your life and say, yeah, well done, Christine, well done. Have you ever taken the time to think about what do I desire to leave here when it is my time to, to let go of my body? What is the message? What is the statement? What are the words that I want to hear people say when I've left? And, you know, some people may think that's a vanity thing. No, it's actually a great question to ask and bring yourself back to the present moment in time and think, you know what, I do want to leave a legacy. I do want to leave something that I can be proud of. That if I was standing there when people were talking about it, you know, I would be proud. You can look at this time and space as being one that is hell, that is something that is terrible, that is created in so much anxiety in your life. Or you can look at this as like, wow, what an opportunity, an unplanned personal vacation for me to get connected more with who I am, who I desire to be, and who I want to be in the world tomorrow. Whatever, whenever that tomorrow is. You have been gifted something, my friends. It's up to you to decide whether it truly is a gift or if it's been an absolute nightmare. The universe is asking each and every one of us to wake up, to pay attention, to get connected to our own source, to become so personally aware of everything that we have created and everything we desire to create, that now we can see that we are the orchestrators of our own song, 
of our own lives. You can change everything in your world if you desire it to change. You can shut down your home. You can let go of a business that you're not happy with. You can change jobs. You can create a more nurturing relationship with your body. You can infuse so much love into your relationships that people think there's something wrong. <laughs> you can be that person you desire to be. And you always, when you are alone with yourself at night, those five, ten minutes before you drift off to sleep and you think about the day you have had and you think about the desires you have. Now is the time to make this happen. This has never been more delivered on a silver platter for you to create that person than is right here and right now. And I'm telling you, my friends, the world is... The universe is demanding of us to step up and change what is not working. It's up to each and every one of us to look within, to look within ourselves and what we are choosing. Are we choosing to be a victim? Or are we taking responsibility for our past choices and choosing again? Are we doing our self-development? Are we listening to our own words? Are we choosing to move forward in the world from the space of kindness for us first and those around us second? Are we going to be at the effect of our environment, at the effect of those people in our lives that are unkind, or are we going to choose beyond that and create a new reality that we will enjoy? This is the time. If not now, when? Because you know, more than likely in our lifetime, there will be enough measures put in place. We will likely not have this great, huge lockdown again. I, I don't get that we will have something this big ever again. We may have small pockets, but not this big. My children said to me, you know, Mom... Uh, grandma had uh, World War One, and this is our time. This is our war. This is this is the thing that we have to quote unquote fight. And while I understood where they were coming from with that, I also think, wow, this is during wars. There was a great deal, and, and most certainly afterwards. There was a great deal of up, uprising, of changing, so that they didn't fall back into old systems. That was when, after World War II, was when the women's movement started to really flourish. Because, you know, when men went off to war, the women had to run the businesses, the women had to run the farms, the women had to go out to work off of you know, out of the kitchens and off the off the farms. They had to go into places of uh, authority and were given the um, opportunity. And, and when the men came back, you know, they were expected to go back into their little, you know, in their aprons and go back into the kitchen and, and, and do that. And there was like an upheaval of no, no, that's not only do we desire to have more in our lives, we have a lot more to contribute um, if we choose it, all right? There are women that are choose to stay home. There are men that choose to stay home. And there are people that choose to be out in the world, in politics, in medicine, in science, in in all walks of life. And they have a massive contribution to make. So the 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 Second World War was a huge motivator of that. I wonder what this quote-unquote war of the times, challenge of this time and space with the current generations, I wonder what this is going to motivate, inspire, drive people to be on the other side of it. 
I really desire to see such a coming together, such a changing of the guards in where we focus. The one big thing that I love is after after this, the coronavirus is contained and, and we move beyond the lockdown, let's remember who the who the people are that really are contributing when we need them. The the front line, the necessity workers. Let let's pay attention to those those real gaps in our society that you know have been at the effect of neglect. What is it that really is begging for our attention? and where we're going to make something a priority. I really, I, I'm so moved within that I really hope that that is, is the thing that starts to stir within everyone. Where will I focus? What will I make important in my life and in the world around me that I want to leave, that I want to ensure is, is, is a better world than when I first came? We all, each and every one of us, have the opportunity to create that. What will you choose? Will you choose to do your inner work? Will you put your hand up and say, you know what, I need help here. You know, Rhonda Burns did a fabulous show today all about courage. And, you know, I know that listening to that show will inspire you to take the courage to choose for you and and choose to be the amazing person that you came here to be. And one of the things that I know is the most courageous thing that any person can do is to say, I'm struggling. I need support. I need guidance. Put your hand up. Get a fabulous support person in your world. Get a coach who inspires you. Get a coach who will hold you accountable to be the best version of you you ever desired to be. Put up your hand. Ask for, ask for guidance. Ask for where should I be focusing? What would really support me in my desires to be and do this? Now is the time, my friends. The universe is absolutely calling. Um, there is a beautiful song called Global Embrace, written and performed by a very dear friend and a person who also has a show here on the network, Keisha Clark. And that song, the words in that song um, are so inspiring to me. I would love for you to go find it. You can find it on SoundCloud. Um, it's called Global Embrace. And the song, the one line in there is, the world is calling. And it so is calling. It's calling each and every one of us to be the most amazing beings we can possibly be. Just ask yourself, if I choose to spend 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes a day on getting to know me and getting to listen to my inner self more, Will I have more joy and pleasure and will I contribute to the world in the way that I desire to? And if you get a yes, drop the excuses. Write it in your calendar. Make a plan. Get an accountability buddy. Call a coach. And if you're listening to this show and you would like support from me, anyone who's listening and quotes this show, I will give you an hour of my time, an hour of my coaching, absolutely no cost. That will be my contribution to you. Please reach out. Please put your hand up. And if you're listening and you know someone that could use this kind of support, send them the call, to send them the show to listen to, and then have them contact me. My email is christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Until next week, my friends, remember, you can always make another Thank choice. Thank you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices Radio Show. Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, be willing to choose what you really desire. 
This is your life. Making the choices that bring you all that you desire.